Welcome back to the channel. You join me from Koh Phangan, the party island off the coast of Thailand. You can see the beautiful view behind me and apologies for the construction noise in the background, but it is Thailand and it is coming up to high season. So that's what you get. Today's video, I wanted to talk about transport and motorbikes because I love bikes and I love cars. Now, when you come to somewhere like Koh Phangan, there's bikes for rent everywhere. You can get any kind of scooter, brand new motorbike, big bikes, small bikes, whatever you want. The trouble is you've got to pay for them. Now the going rate for renting something basic like a Honda Click, I'll put a picture of what one of those is just now in for you. A Honda Click is 200 baht a day or 250 baht a day, which works out that over the course of a month, you're spending like 7,000 baht. I'll put that in pounds and dollars just now below as well so you can see. So quickly the prices rack up. So what I decided to do was to see if I could buy a bike that was the same or less than it would cost to rent a Honda Click for a month on Koh Phang Yang. And I succeeded. This is not only the cheapest bike on Koh Phang Yang, but I think possibly in Thailand. And I'm going to unveil it to you just now. It's behind me. It works and I'll show you the key first so you get an idea. So this is the key that I was given with it. So you can see it's seen better days, it's snapped off. You can't put any form of keychain on it so it's easy to lose so I do need to change that. But I'm going to unveil to you my 2011, allegedly, Suzuki Skydive. And isn't it phenomenal? Let's have a look at this. So I'm not even sure where to begin. Obviously the helmet was extra. The helmet is mine that I bought and paid for. So I'll remove this so you can see the bike. I mean, I'd like to start with the uh, Monster Energy Seat cover. I do like that. And if we look here at the front, we can see I mean, it's got a little scuff, but nothing that won't brush out. The tire is as bald as me at the front, so that'll need to be changed. Uh, if we come around here, I mean, we can see cracks and chips everywhere. But it does function, it does actually run. The cover's missing off the exhaust, there's a few other bits and pieces. If we look at the dials, it's quite difficult to make it out. The speedo doesn't work, the fuel gauge doesn't work, but it does start. So if we turn it over like this, we then press the button marked horn, and it is a functioning motorbike. And it costs less than what it would cost to rent a bike for a month. And not only that, there's more. Check this out. This is my homage to YouTube and my vain attempt to get the algorithm up. Look what I got. YouTube certified and approved. We just need to attach the sticker somewhere to the bike. And then I'm going to go and fill it up with gas. I'm going to show you how you do that on an island. And then we're going to go for the road trip and see how it drives. Just to put the sticker on now. I don't think it's quite on straight and there are bubbles in it, but I think that's just in keeping with the patina of the bike. Let's go. Okay, so the bike itself actually feels fairly stable. I'm gonna get a new tire for it. And um, yeah, like the brakes work. The back brake's a bit um, hesitant because the, the lever snapped. And when I'm holding here, I don't know what you can see now, but all I can see in the, re the reflection of the mirror is my own arm. Um, so I think these need to be extended out a bit. But aside from that, let's see if it starts again. We're off. And as well, I checked, the headlight works. We have a functioning headlight on full and dip beam as well. So like I say, we're going to take the bike out, see how it drives, and we're going to go and fill up with gas, because I think you're going to find that interesting. So this is how you fill up with gasoline island style. What you'll have are places like this dotted all over the island. So it's just basically someone's house, someone's shop. And uh, you just pull up and you've got a gas pump here. So what you do is you just put your money in. It's like pay as you go. And then that's it. So here. And then I think we need to press the start button. And we're off. How cool is that? Right, so now we're gassed up. We're going to give Scrappy, which is what I've named the bike because he's fit for the scrapyard. We're going to give him his ultimate test. We're going to see what it's like on the hills of the island. 
So the hill that we're going to attempt just now is known by locals and tourists as being a soul-crushing killer of automatic bikes. Manuals are okay and semis are okay, but not automatic. So let's see if good old Scrappy can make it up this hill. made it over the bump i'm impressed with that and up here we've got the uh, devastation this is what happens when you're a property developer and you run out of money and then somehow the concrete just sags and fails and you end up with abandoned post-apocalyptic buildings like this oh it's starting to get more difficult now so this climb goes up to a bar slash nightclub called 420 so you can see already you've got the uh view of the ocean in the distance and the incline is getting steeper and steeper and this isn't even the difficult part yet oh it's the final push is scrappy going to make it he has that's pretty much it there is another another incline up here but this one isn't as severe Well, Scrappy made it up the hill, and like most roads in Thailand, they just finished like this. So we've got to somewhere, and uh, that's the end of the road. So show the view here. You can see down in the distance, we've got the beach, and uh, we are up in the hill, so you can give, uh, that gives an idea, an inclination as to how, how high he's managed to climb. So yeah, I'm definitely calling that a success. So I've had this bike for two days now, and it's not broken down and it seems to be going okay like i say i am going to replace the tires and the rest of it the patina i might just leave how it is i think it looks quite awesome we now have the official youtube partnership sponsorship uh sticker like i say this doesn't lock but that's not much of an issue unless someone wants to steal the battery or a pencil or whatever else you can put in there that's about it so yeah the bike in total was 6500 baht which is 147 pounds or 185 us dollars and that's basically the equivalent of renting a bike like a honda wave at 250 baht a day for 26 days so i'm calling this a win obviously issues like say fuel gauge doesn't work speedo doesn't work it didn't come with any service history any paperwork any documentation anything like that but it doesn't matter it's basically just transport to get around this paradise island 